Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Art Kankar, your bartender in the OSR. Before we jump into today's, or maybe the first video today, I don't know, might be two, uh, there is a bundle over at Humble Bundle. That's the link at the bottom of the screen. It's for the Paranoia RPG 25th Anniversary Bundle. Go to tencars-tavern.game slash paranoia. Yes, it's an affiliate link, so if you spend a few coins, um, some coin will go back into the tavern's coffers. It's how, I guess, I don't know if we keep the lights on with this. It really doesn't pay much in the way of bills, but it does keep my, uh, my fellow partners on this channel. Uh, it gives them new equipment, upgraded equipment. That's what it, it goes back into this channel effectively. Um, so great way to support now. What do we have going on? Well, this came out a couple of hours ago from Modiphius. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Modiphius, Modiphius. Members of the Fallout role-playing community made us aware that descriptive text in the equipment chapter of the Wanderer's Guidebook was copied from the Fallout Nucopedia Wiki run by a community of diligent fans and hosted by Fandom.com. We acted immediately to internally investigate, involving members of our development and managerial teams. Ooh, that sounds... They're, they're being proactive. Upon investigation, we discovered the text was copied into an early draft with the intention of deleting and rephrasing it later. And this was not done. It made it it made its way into the final manuscript. That should never happen. Why is anybody, any publisher, any writer, any freelancer, copying word for word, page page for page, um, into another into into a a for profit document? That's the other thing too, right? You are essentially stealing content from another location, and this isn't under the OGL, folks. But there's a there's a little uh, there's a little bit more to this than meets the eye. Our editing and proofreading processes didn't catch this honest mistake, and that's assuming that the writer made an honest mistake. I'm sure they're saying it was. I would too, if I got caught. And so the text was laid out and produced in both the PDF and hardback editions of the book. We're sorry that we didn't meet your expectations. Uh huh. And the standards you look for from our gaming supplements. This is such crock o business speak. We love the Fallout universe and want our game to be a valuable contribution to the franchise as a whole and take our responsibility as a licensee very seriously. We take a lot of care and pride in adapting the world of the video game franchise onto the tabletop, and we let you down in this instance. I'm not saying the source material wasn't good, but it wasn't theirs to take. Upon further investigation of the potential legal implications, we confirmed that the text on Fandom Wikis is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike License 3.1 CC BY SA. To make good on the matter and follow our obligations of the license, we will be properly crediting the Fallout Phantom Wiki in the PDF edition of the book and all future printings of the hardback book. The first hardback printing of the Wanderer's Guidebook will remain unaltered because you, what do you do? Slap, well, you could slap a sticker on the inside, but I'm going to pop right over to, uh, the attribution share and share alike. Now, this oh, this is an older version of the license. And why does it have deed? Maybe I can. Oh, okay. 
no matter what, because of the deed. All right. So there you go. So what what is what does the CC 3.0 share alike say? You are free to share, copy, and redistribute the material in any medium or format for any purpose, even commercially. You can remix, transform, and build upon the material for any purpose, even commercially, under the following terms. Attribution. You must give appropriate credit, provide a link to the license, and indicate if changes were made. You may do so in any reasonable manner, but not in any way that suggests the licensor endorses you or your use. Share alike. This is what was not addressed, right? In that update on Facebook that we were just looking at, they talk about attribution, but they kind of turn a blind eye to the share alike aspect. If you remix, transform, or build upon the material, you must distribute your contributions under the same license as the original. Well, isn't that interesting? So, I you notice they're only addressing half of the requirements of this license. They're going to just ignore the other half. I don't think it works that way. Now, I'm not a lawyer. Maybe a lawyer wants to uh, pop in and comment on this. It would appear to me that by, uh, if they're going to comply with the license, that they're going to have to, you know, they can charge for it, but it's going to have to be released under share alike. And now that might violate their, uh, what should I call it? license with the fallout owners. I don't know. To ensure our publications are wholly original in the future. Better proofing techniques as well as processes to check for any possible plagiarism ooh, have been put into place. Improving our editorial standards is an ongoing process and this has helped inform one aspect of that process, and that Modiphius, rather than impart blame and make examples of people, we want to collaborate, learn, and play with people rather than against them, exemplified every day in our cooperative games and design philosophy. We've taken this as an opportunity to apologize for what happened, but learn from it too. But again, they're not addressing the full license in question, and I think that's going to be an issue. But what do I know? I'm not a lawyer. I don't play one on TV. Um, you tell me. You tell me. Do you think that they are going to be following the terms of the CC 3.0 share alike? I don't know. To my eyes, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, folks, we got more news. That was, yeah, I got some other. Something came into my uh, possession. Um, as an early manuscript. I don't know if you've heard, but there's an early manuscript of uh, OD&D going around that was found in the uh, Dave Arneson TSR lawsuit uh, records. So I will get to that. <laughs> That's going to be its own video. Uh, in the meantime, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well. Uh, I'll be back again today, tomorrow. Tomorrow's a live stream at 8 p.m. But there'll be another video either today or tomorrow uh, talking about the uh, manuscript for OD&D from 1973. Good times. All right, folks. On that note, I'm out of here. Later.